An important San Diego region conservation event occurred on the south island of Los Coronados in 1948. The northern elephant seals returned to their ancient rookery after facing near extinction in the 1890s. These blubber-dense pinnipeds were hunted for their oil that is a lot like that from whales. This oil was used for smokeless lamplight and fine machinery lubricant. Their population was thought to be less than 20 individuals at the lowest point. The only place where they survived was on Isla de Guadalupe off the west coast of Baja California, Mexico. Even when the population was known to be in danger of extinction, they continued to be hunted for oil and as specimens for natural history museums. In 1922, the Mexican government declared Isla de Guadalupe a biological reserve. Since then, the population has recovered to approximately 160,000 individuals with rookeries reaching from Vancouver Island, Canada to Cedros Island, Mexico. Our local rookery is now a tourist destination with sightseeing ships sailing from San Diego to the Coronado Islands to observe the breeding and molting colony on the shore. The northern elephant seal is smaller than its southern cousin, but not by much. A male beachmaster, the boss bull, can be nearly 18 feet long and weigh up to two and three quarter tons. The female is about 10 feet long and weighs one quarter as much. Newborn pups are about four feet long and weigh 60 pounds. The seals live about 20 years. The male has a snout that looks like a short elephant's trunk, hence the name for the species. He trumpets like an elephant and uses his nose in male dominance behavior. These animals are amongst the master marine divers on the planet. The average dive of about 1,500 feet can last up to two hours. They need only three minutes on the surface to exhale and inhale for the next dive. Females, less buoyant because they have less blubber than the males, have been recorded diving a mile into the depths. Males can remain submerged longer than females because of extra oxygenated blood in the trunk. Both ingest rocks to regulate their buoyancy. Most of their time is spent at sea. They eat over 30 species of fish, cephalopods, and small sharks. Females migrate to the 40 degree latitudes. The males go beyond into the Arctic waters. The male migratory patterns are similar to those of the gray whale. These seals return to their haul-out rookeries two times a year. The summer beaching is for the catastrophic molt when the seals lose all their fur and top layers of skin. That process takes about a month. They need to stay on shore to stay warm. They flip sand on themselves to prevent sunburn. The second haul out occurs for breeding. The males arrive in December and January to claim territory for their harems. This is a time of great contest between fast moving, aggressive and huge beasts who bellow, snort, chase, bite, and slash their competitors. Notice the slash scars on the males. The females arrive and select an alpha bull by joining his harem. The biggest bull on the best real estate on the shore is called the beach master. Females give birth to one pup, nurse the pup with rich milk for four weeks, then mate to start their annual reproductive cycle again. In large congregation of seals, Younger and lower level males are always on the lookout to take a female away from an alpha bull. The boss bull is on constant guard to stop this reading. None of the seals feed during their time on the beach. While the seals are on the beach, gulls stroll through looking for goodies to eat. Some young seals don't survive and are washed up to the high water line. Scavenger gulls and turkey vultures dispose of the carcasses. The San Diego region rookery on Coronado Islands has the best survival rate for pups. The San Francisco region rookery on the Farallon Islands has the highest pup 
death rate because of predator populations of great white sharks and orcas. The elephant seal, a storied recovery from near extinction.